Now, some might say this is a real case of bad education. It's a world that we live in today that really confuses so many different people. But as ever, I'd love to know what you think to this particular story. Should this be allowed in British schools today? Or are you like me, looking back and thinking, we were never allowed to do this? As ever, let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you today. Thank you so much for your time. You all right? Not bad, thank you. Yes, of course. Now, they don't say, don't they? They often say, should I say, that the school days are the happiest days of your life. Don't know about you. They weren't certainly the happiest days of my life. But, you know, you learn things, don't you? You develop as a person, all of that sort of stuff. Imagine being the teacher now in the 21st century. It's so difficult. You have to, of course, remember about gender, whether you're ticking all the boxes, you're not allowed to give them any pay, uh, punishment if they step out of line. And on top of all of that, you're battling things like this, the phone. We didn't have any of those things. Let me tell you, when I was at school, you weren't even allowed to bring in a pocket calculator. I remember people being suspended for that. Another thing that I remember people being suspended was, was not actually conforming to the school uniform. And this is what I wanted to highlight today to you. You see, what's being told to me is simply this. You've now got massive class sizes with people dressed in any manner of form that they want. But worse than that, imagine now that you're in a class with all manner of different nationalities, whether they be wearing turbans or uh, hijabs or all that sort of stuff, Afro air. If you're sitting behind someone with a huge Afro, you can't see the blackboard. But the teacher can't say anything to them to tidy up their hair because, well, it's their cultural heritage. Now, the question I would ask you is this, who's running what? Who's in charge? Are the kids in charge? Is it a bit like the Pink Floyd song, Another Brick in the Wall? Teacher, leave, the, leave those kids alone. Which, either way you look at it, we've now lost control of our classrooms. So I wanted to throw it back to you. How strict was your school? And more importantly, what measures do you remember they took to make you behave? And finally, be honest, did you ever receive any punishment, like the cane, like, of course, the slipper, or were you made to stand outside facing the wall? And were our school days better to make us better people in society today? Have literally the teachers lost all control, not just over education, but more importantly, the people they're supposed to be teaching? As ever, I'd love to know your genuine thoughts in the comments below. And be polite and, of course, respectful. Please don't forget to like and share. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.